Hello friend, happy Monday morning. I hope you are doing well. It is the first day of a brand new month and I wanna fill it with so much positivity and encouragement because frankly, last month was one of the strangest months that I've had in a long time and I am ready to put some new energy out there in the world. But before I do that, I wanna let you know that this will actually be my last Monday morning Facebook Live of 2021. Over here at Grid and Glam, we are preparing for the most exciting time of the year, our membership doors opening next month. I can't wait. And to celebrate, we are going to be hosting two free challenges over on my Instagram page. And it's going to be so much fun. And you are going to make so much progress and feel so Good. So I really hope you will join me. If you do plan to join me, make sure to sign up for text reminders. I will put the information below this video, but all you have to do is text YES to 617-812-8617 to get in on all the fun. Yes, the text messages you will receive from there will be directly from me. And, oh, and as always, I will be super active on Instagram stories, answering any and all questions you have for me, and cheering you on. Okay, so now that that housekeeping is done, let's talk about burnout and how to prevent it. Here's the thing, friend. Burnout is so real and really now more than ever, whether it is burnout from your job, from meal planning, from cooking, from organizing, from momming, it seriously affects all of us. Life is hard and we are living in a super weird time and now more than ever, it is so important to take care of ourselves. So the first step to avoid burnout is actually to identify our potential stressors. Ask yourself these questions. What is overwhelming me? Where can I slow down? And what can I remove from my schedule? Take some time to really reflect on your pain points here. Burnout is a direct result of stress. If you can identify the stressors, you can start the process of eliminating them or at the very least minimizing them. And that brings me to my next tip, which is to be ruthlessly intentional with your time. I do feel like one of the great things that have come, that has come out of the pandemic is a little bit of a slower pace and us realizing that we do need to be super intentional with our time. But as things have slowly crept back into our schedules, I feel like a little bit of that has gotten lost. So one way to do this is to simply say no to anything and everything you don't want to do. If it is not a hell yes, then it is a no. Another way to do this is to map out your day into time blocks and batch your work. You have probably heard of context switching. And the less context switching we do, which is moving from one thing to the next, to the next, back to the first, back to the second thing, the more time and energy we will have to be productive. Yes, for some of us that chaos works, but for a lot of us that constant context switching actually drains us of our time and energy. So please hear me on this. You, do, you deserve to schedule in rest, meal times, and even self-care if that helps you prioritize it. You know I am all about scheduling it into my calendar. Setting boundaries in this way is a form of self-care in and of itself. So once you have mapped out your time blocks, commit to the boundaries you set for yourself because these boundaries will allow you to budget your energy so much better. And you know that you can't bring your best self to any area of your life if you're constantly running on empty. Now, there will obviously be stressors that you simply can't remove from your life because, well, adulting is hard. So schedule those things in first every day to just get them done. I talked about this in another live, but often when we get the hard thing done first, we actually save ourselves so much mental anguish and time and frustration of worrying about getting the thing done 
because it's already done and break the tasks down into bite-sized pieces so you can conquer them. You'll feel so amazing by starting your day getting the most stressful task done first. Finally, and maybe most importantly, let go of the desire for perfection. Here's the reality, friend. None of us can do everything perfectly. It's not even that fun to try. As much as we wish we could balance all the things and accomplish every to-do, the truth is we are humans with competing priorities and time and energy limits. Give yourself permission to rest and to not get it all done. Chances are you are burnt out because you're chasing an ideal picture of success. And I know it's not easy to slow down and set boundaries for yourself, but it really is necessary, especially this time of year. So remember to give yourself credit and lots of grace. And remember this, all progress is still progress. Even if it doesn't look or feel exactly as you thought it was, it would, it is still progress. Imagine how amazing and freeing it will feel to move from a place of burnout to a place of balance. Okay, that was a lot, so let's quickly recap. My tips to avoid burnout, identify your stressors, budget your energy, break tasks into bite-sized increments, do the hard thing first, and let go of perfection. I'm going to be talking so much more about all of this over the next two months and giving us small, actionable, daily tasks that we can put in place so that we can end the year feeling great and ring in 2022 knowing that we are designing a life that we love. I really want you to join me this season and make it a point to care for yourself. You are amazing and you deserve a life that is fulfilling and joyful. If you aren't already, be sure to follow along on Instagram, sign up for text reminders and get on my newsletter list to get all of the G&G love and support that will carry you through the end of the year and help you start the new year off on the right foot. I'm sending you such a big virtual hug and I hope you have an amazing week.